This is going to be part two of this 35 volt 5 amp power supply. In part one I completed this section down here which appears on page one of the schematic and I refer to this as the control system. It's being powered right now from this little toroid. It's a 15 volt dual secondary or a 15015 -15, or a 30 center tapped. Connects right here. This is uh, sets the current limit. This potentiometer sets the output voltage. This is an LED that indicates that we're in the constant current mode. I have added, in addition to what appears on page one of the schematic, what I call the power system, which appears on page two. The power system consists of a pair of relays. I have installed one of the pair. I'll get to that. Power input terminals, bridge rectifier, filter capacitors, a bleeder resistor for these filter capacitors, a tip 41 which receives the driving signal from the voltage from the control system which in turn drives and these are remotely mounted transistors. I have heat fans on them. And this heat sink is at uh, you know, plus 15 to plus 30 volts. So sitting on a sheet of paper. Um, so this driver transistor drives these two paralleled pass transistors current is equalized between the two transistors by these two resistors inserted in series with the emitter. This is a screw terminal that's connected to an output ammeter, which is here. These are solder terminals, I have clip leads on them, that go to a voltmeter. Power for this thing comes from this really large and really heavy toroidal transformer. Now let's talk about the transformers and the input relays. This power supply was designed to use this transformer secondary. Uh, if we start at the bottom and call that zero volts or reference volts, the designer would have us furnish a transformer with taps incrementing upwards from zero to 15 volts, zero to 32 volts, and zero to 31 volts. The intention was as the user increases the desired output voltage, while the user is in the 0 to 15 volt range, this pair of taps would be furnishing voltage to the unregulated supply rail. As the user passed beyond 15 or so volts, a voltage sensor would detect this and a relay would switch between here and here. As the user asks for more voltage, that is turned up the voltage control, around 32 volts, we'll get to that, the relay would select the 31 volt tap. This would result in uh, having three different possible input voltages to this power supply. This was accomplished by this relay switching scheme. The transformer was connected 0, 15, 
23, 31 volts. At low, that is less than 15 volts output. The relays are in this condition, which incidentally is the condition that they're in when they're not powered. So as we desire an output voltage of more than 15 or so, this relay would switch. The bus voltage, the power, would increase from around 18 to around 25. As we ask for more output voltage, this relay would additionally be switched, which would power the rail from the 31 volt tap through the bridge rectifier. I haven't a clue where to obtain a transformer like this. Since the transformer is not furnished as part of the kit, the individual kit builder would have to find a transformer. Now, let me say this applies to all these transformers. Whatever secondary, whatever output current you desire, 3, 4, 5, maybe 6 amps, the current rating would have to be equal to what you desire. Not so much voltage wise. A much more common transformer on the market is the 30 volt center tap transformer. These are easily found on eBay. This transformer configuration is also called a 15015, where this is 15015 or a 30 volt center tapped transformer. Regardless of whether you call this 15 and this 0, in this purpose this is 0, this is 15, and this is 30. The transformer I'm using has two 15 volt windings. And if I connect them in series correctly, I get a transformer that's 0, 15, and 30. A truly tapped transformer will have one continuous winding and a tap, or in the case of this one, three taps, or two taps and an end. Now this thing is often called a uh, dual 15 volt windings. In any event, we want a transformer that emulates this one, neglecting this connection. So we just ignore this connection and call it a 0, 15, 30. That means we will connect it 0, 15, and 30 and use only this relay to go between 15 and 30. So instead of having three staged uh, voltages on the power bus, we have two staged, the 15 and the 30. Bear in mind though that prior to these relays, the 15 volt and the 0 volt are used for some other application. So although we could use probably a 0, 12, 24, I'm not sure we could use a 0, 10, 20. We probably need 12 or 15 volts here. We'll get to that. 
I hope you understand that explanation. So we have the control circuit and we have the power circuitry. This unused area is what I refer to as the utility circuit. It provides switching for these two relays, one of which I put a jumper in place of. It provides fan control if we like to use it. It provides a 5 volt supply to be used with the Chinese volt ammeter if that's what you want to do. Amps and volts. For a switch I reach over and plug a wall plug in. The voltage has come up to six and a half volts. Before I draw any current, I've got to power these fans. That'll add to the noise pollution. Let's see what happens when we adjust the voltage. Get that meter where you can see it. Seems I can only go down to 67 millivolts. Now we only have the 15 volt tap on the transformer hooked up. Let's turn it up and see what we get. We get about 19 and a half volts maximum. No load output with a 15 volt AC input. Now I'm going to short the power supply. When I short the power supply, the constant current light should go on. Well, I'm going to disconnect the voltmeter. And this should go show some current. All right, I've shorted the power supply. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, this should go down, and it is going down. This should go up. It stops at two and a half amps. Well, we were guaranteed 5 amps, assuming that our transformer could supply it. But there have been provisions made for that. On the uh, control circuit, which is page 1, the amp control is here. That's this one. There's also a trimmer here called VR1. VR1 is here. So I've set the control, that is the limiting control, for 5 amps whenever this is at full scale. I'll, I'll redo that a little bit. And it allows us to go down to hopefully zero. So there we go, 0 to 5 amps, which is what we were told 
when, I, when we purchase this supply. Now whether it makes 5 amps or not is, depends, is dependent upon the input power transformer and the ability of the heat sink to dissipate the heat. And right now I've got my thumbs on the transistors and there's no, I don't feel, I don't feel any heat at all. I should say that the original transistors were tip 3055s. I have replaced those transistors with higher rated transistors. I've replaced them with MJW21194. And there's no felt heat. I mean, it's stone cold. Wow. This bridge rectifier is terribly hot. I'm going to have to consider putting a heat sink on that if I can. That's ridiculous. The reason I'm using my hands is because my battery went dead on my infrared thermometer. The transformers I'm using are both Toroil. They're both from the same company. The big transformer is a 15 times 2 or 30 volt. 200 VA. It's 200 watts. Transformer it costs fifty dollars from this guy here. And the transformer for the control system is this one a fifteen fifteen or a thirty volt, but only rated at twenty five watts. I think this is too big wattage wise and I'll bet I could get by with a 12 12 or a 12 center tap 24 center tap looking around last night on eBay this transformer here I found this it's a 30 volt center tap transformer rated 4 amps now you would have to sacrifice an amp. But you could have this transformer for $22. I need to get a battery for my temperature device. And I need to put a heat sink on this rectifier. That's ridiculous. And I'll build this control circuitry so we can operate the relay and use the dual 15 30 volt input to the power supply. Looks like we can get 5 amps easily out of it. Both controls work. I'm liking this power supply more and more.